this Sunday from the unfrozen tundra of Lambeau Field, the 2-1 Green Bay Packers take on the 3-0, the undefeated Minnesota Vikings with first place in the NFC North on the line. Sorry, Lions. It's all about us and the Vikings right now. So yeah, this Sunday, there's a big football game. It's at noon in beautiful Lambeau Field, and most of you will probably be watching it. Whether you're wearing your purple, whether you're wearing your green and gold, it's Packers, it's Vikings. And that's what I wanted to actually talk about today from my Packer-themed basement. Because there was a time, and it was an extended long period of time in my life, where I took what happened on Sunday afternoons a little too seriously. In fact, generally the Packer result, whether they won or lost, would very much affect my week, which is the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to sports. A lot of times with sports, the problem we have is we don't create good, healthy boundaries. We let the effect of sports and the results of games affect our behavior and our attitude. First, personally, it might wreck your day, but then you might also find yourself wrecking other people's day. Maybe your team won and you want to rub it in and send that text or or joust back and forth with someone. Let me just let you know right now, it's not worth losing a friendship or a relationship over. And the second thing with sports that I want to talk about with boundaries is, I don't know about you, if you're a parent right now, uh, raising kids who are involved in sports and activities, they're becoming more and more and more sports on Sundays. In fact, they don't wait till Sunday afternoon, so it's interrupting the Viking or Packer game. They might be right in Sunday morning when it's interrupting a different time, a time that maybe we should be worshiping. Well, something that my wife and I have had to talk about with our kids is if you have a game Sunday morning and you actually can't worship a different time, you're not going to your game. See, we view that as a healthy boundary. We want our kids to know that church, being in worship, hearing more about God is actually more important than anything they're going to do on a soccer field or a football field. Because that's the challenge, right? Like having these good boundaries when it comes to sports. Because that's what I've actually learned in life, unfortunately, kind of the hard way. I've lost some people that are very important in my life. My, my father's passed away. My father-in-law passed away just a, a couple weeks ago here. And what I've seen from them is they care about sports. But you know what? Towards the end, they didn't because they knew that it wasn't really that important. So this Sunday, yes, there is the big game and get excited and have a football party. But also remember those healthy boundaries. And the other thing I want to talk about is just understanding and knowing that even this is a big game on Sunday, it's not the most important thing on Sunday. Really, the main event happens earlier in the day. It's when church, when worship happens, when we gather together, not as 80 or 90,000 people in a football stadium, but as we gather as a few hundred, or I don't know how big your worship is if you're not at St. John's, but maybe it's 50, maybe it's 100, maybe you go to a mega church that's like a thousand people. That gathering is more important because that gathering focuses on God. It's all about him. And guess what? <laughs> that score, that, that result of that worship is good. Sure, maybe it wasn't your favorite sermon. Maybe the children's message got a little off base. Maybe, you know, as pastors, we talk too long. We apologize. We do that. We get excited to share God's word sometimes. But it's not perfect. But it's more about God. It's focused. It's an opportunity that we have to grow our relationship with God. Because truly, that's what it's all about. Like, there are so many times in life that our boundaries, that our priorities can get stretched and out of whack. So my prayer for this Sunday is, yeah, enjoy the game, but I hope that you enjoy worship first. And I hope that whether your team wins or loses, you don't let that ruin your weekend. You keep those good friendships and relationships, and you enjoy the game, and you realize that, as my mom used to tell me, it's just a game. There's always going to be another game next week and another team and someone's going to win and someone's going to lose. But the real game of life is continuing to put our faith in God, showing up to church, being together, having that community and sharing it and knowing you're going to be sitting in a church with people who cheer for a lot of different teams. But we have that same God who loves us and values us and is with us. So may God bless 
your week, and especially your Sunday morning well before any games happen.